Hello class! Today we will look at possessive pronouns. Now, this is very easy in English. You all know personal pronouns and in the third person singular we have male, female and neutral. And these are he, she and it. And then we have possessive pronouns which correspond to these personal pronouns and these possessive pronouns tell you that something belongs to someone or something. Once again, male, female, neutral, his, her and its. So, let's use them in a sentence. John is cleaning his kitchen. Mary is firing her pump gun. London is famous for its theatres. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye bye. Oh, one more thing. Sometimes you can see this last possessive pronoun it's in phrases like French cuisine at its best or folk music at its best. And quite often you can see it spelled like this with an apostrophe, which I am sorry to tell you is wrong. In fact, this mistake is so common that I'm really surprised when I see it spelled correctly without an apostrophe. I think I've seen it more often with an apostrophe than without one. And to be honest, it drives me mad. I mean, think about it. It's with an apostrophe is the short form for it is. Now, what is folk music at it is best supposed to mean, huh? This is utter nonsense, you fucking morons. I mean, have you ever thought about it in your stupid little monkey brains or are your brains just running on autopilot? Oh, it's, yeah, I've seen that word before. You gotta write that with an apostrophe. I'm 100% sure about that. You make me puke. These are two different things. One is a possessive pronoun and the other one is a whole sentence, you bastards. But every time you see a word that ends with an S, you think, oh, there's an S at the end. You gotta put an apostrophe in front of that. Every English word that ends with an S has an apostrophe. No, they have not. And there is no debating about it. There is no, oh, language is in a constant process of change. We gotta adapt to changes. Everything changes. Yes, this is true for words like Negro or Poofta or any other racist or homophobic bullshit. You cannot say these words anymore and for a good reason. I'm really a very tolerant person. You can spell theater with T-E-R at the end instead of T-R-E, which, let's be honest, is the only correct and the original spelling, but that's okay. Things change, that's fine with me. You can put up signs in the supermarket that say five items or less instead of five items or fewer, but I wouldn't complain. You can even spell tough or rough or cuff with a double F at the end. I wouldn't give a flying flamingo, but there is no fucking way that folk music at it is is best will ever be correct. Got it? I never wanted to become a teacher. Oh, piss off! And next time we will talk about possessive pronouns in the plural and I will explain the difference between there and there.